the San Antonio Spurs, of course, have made a major change. We know they've moved Kawhi Leonard, and now he is gone. And now DeMar DeRozan is in San Antonio. So with it being Spurs team day, we wanted to, to, to look at the Spurs roster going into the next season. Of course, get your expert analysis on what you're thinking. Will it be 20 two consecutive seasons going to the postseason. Starting, of course, with DeMar DeRozan and his addition. What are your thoughts, Coach? It's kind of interesting to think about this team. On one hand, you look and say, if they can stay healthy enough during the course of the year with a couple of the older bodies, then they're good enough to win their share of games. On the other hand, if they get a key injury or two, okay, this team could drop off the ledge quickly. But adding DeRozan, when you think about it, a 23-point scorer, and to me, Remember, San Antonio was one of the lower teams in the league as far as three-pointers taken and three-pointers made. We're talking about 26, 27, or 27, 28 last season in those particular areas. You get DeRozan coming in now, and this is kind of interesting for them. In the, well, from 2009 to 2017, think about this. With DeRozan, he took just 1.4 three-pointers a game. Okay, This past year, he was up to 3.6. When you look at makes... He made less than .5 a game. This year he was over one. He doubled, more than doubled that per game and got his field goal percentage up to 31%. So they're adding something that they really struggled in last year, a three-point shooter. But they've got the veteran guys back once again, Aldridge, Pau Gasol, Jante Murray in the backcourt, Ginobili's back. They brought back, okay, once again, Bellinelli, the shooter, to help them out. There's your veteran guys. And then when you look at the younger guys they got in that trade, Potal, I like his ability really well. This could be a very solid team during the upcoming season. Indeed it could. Now, Rudy Gay had some interesting comments talking about maybe potentially this team flying under the radar, saying they don't have many expectations for us since, you know, they've lost one of the best players in the NBA. They don't have many expectations, but the Spurs always exceed expectations. Don't expect anything less this year. So these are Rudy's thoughts. You look at this statement and, and, and what do you think? Well, that's the one name that I left out on purpose because I am so happy for Rudy and I'm happy for San Antonio that he returned. A little hesitation there, both sides trying to agree that, yeah, this is probably the best place for you. And you always wait till that last second to see if that better offer comes in. Of course. But eventually, I think Rudy felt comfortable. I, I think he liked his role. I think he liked how Pop used him in the system. And I think they have enough, I think he thinks they have enough talent to win a large amount of games this year in the Western Conference. So I'm glad he's back with them. Now, we've seen San Antonio struggle in the postseason the last two years being eliminated by Golden State. Your, your prospects for them reaching the postseason, do you think this is a team that could potentially advance? Once again, we know it winds up with who do you match up with if you get there, particularly in the Western Conference that is so tough. Who do you match up with in that first round? Not many people have been successful if you get Golden State in that first round. So we'll see what happens during the course of the year. See if they get there first, and then if they do, you're in and you got a chance. That's